Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. Um, today we're going to show you how to build another web-based mobile app um, using nothing but a spreadsheet. Pretty cool. And you do that with a tool called Glide Apps. Uh, I've got the URL right up here. Um, if you want to hit pause and just set up a free account on Glide Apps uh, and then restart uh, the video and we'll go over some of the things you can do with it. All right, welcome back. Um, again, uh, web-based mobile apps with Glide um, allows you to build this app uh, and then save it to your home screen. Um, very easy to do. Uh, you can add photos, charts, maps. Um, they have a free or paid uh, upgrade version where you can customize URLs, but the free version is really fine. Uh, your URL would just be whatever you named it, .glideapps.com, um, which is fine as a URL. Um, it's good for really good for listing, uh, uh, you know, event calendars, maybe a city guide, uh, COVID testing sites can be listed in there, polling locations on election day, a voters guide. Um, good for, you know, kind of one off, uh, uh, you know, uh, tableware type uh, of uh, projects. Um, you can find tools like this on journalisttoolbox.org. This is a site I've owned and operated for uh, a number of years. Uh, it's now housed at the Society of Professional Journalists. Um, we have a mobile journalism page. Um, if you go under browse topics here uh, and scroll down to mobile journalism, sometimes it's featured out on the home page. And you'll see we have all of these tools listed here under mobile app building tools, mobile journalism research, and mobile apps for reporting, which is a really cool uh, page as well. Uh, if you open up the app building tools page, you Glide Apps is right here at the top. We recently uh, added that to the uh, list of tools, but there's many others here uh, you know, that uh, you can use for, for building apps uh, as well. Um, so journalisttoolbox.org, good resource for uh, finding app building tools and other mobile journalism products. Um, so to build this app, um, I'm going to show you what one looks like first, and then I'm going to show you how you load the sheet uh, spreadsheet in and build it out. Um, so this is a, a little project I've been working on with a couple of my colleagues at SPJ. It's taking all of our bios of SPJ Fellows of the Society uh, and turning them into a little web app. We're also putting it into Google Flourish uh, you know, so their bios can appear online. But we thought it might be cool as a little mobile app, too, where people can just call up uh, the uh, little page like this in their mobile device. Uh, click on the bio, and there's you know Marty Barron, his bio, and then a quote from him. So it's just four columns in a spreadsheet. The title, his bio, the picture, and the quote. So that's the four columns in the spreadsheet. And all this tool does is take cascading style sheets, applies them to those different columns, uh, and then drops it into a uh, mobile-friendly format like this. Um, and this is the uh, completed page that we published. It was a little test we've done here. Uh, people can scan it to download it. Um, you can also share uh, the app to, uh, you can customize uh, the link. Uh, mine is just called spjtest.glideapp.io up here. Uh, and uh, people can call that up and then save to home screen. Uh, and you've got a nice mobile based app. Well, how does this thing get built? Um, it's built in a little interface like this. I'll show you how to upload everything in a minute. Um, but uh, this is the main interface for building it out. As you can see here, I've uploaded the spreadsheet. Um, if I wanted to go in and look at it, I could hit Edit Sheet. And there's the spreadsheet of the bios and everything. You know, name, image, uh, bio, and then over here on the far right, the quote. And then it's also listed over here under data and you can rearrange these, you know, it usually defaults to left to right on the spreadsheet order, name, bio, quote, and image. Uh, I could change that though. If I wanted to put the image first, it would look kind of kind of wacky, but you know, you kind of eyeball it in and see what you want to go where. Uh, so it makes sense to you, but this is where you organize everything. You can do it in list format. It gives you different choices here. Compact, which doesn't look too good. Um, tiles, uh, you know, kind of cuts their heads off a little bit. Probably not the best design for this. It's got a calendar format, all kinds of stuff like that. It doesn't work here because of the type of, uh, of data that I've got used. But listicle format here is, works pretty darn well uh, for this data set. Um, so over here on the left-hand side, you've got an area called settings. 
uh, where I can go in and upload an icon um, that appears you know, out here. Uh, I also have it appear in any of the uh, bios where we don't have a photo. There are a few uh, uh, posts that we don't have photos for. You can also adjust the design to different formats. You know, if I want to do night mode or uh, you know, white background or uh, you know, this version, uh, that gives you six, seven different uh, base themes to your template. Uh, you can adjust the colors too up here at the top. Um, yeah, I went with blue. Uh, you can upload that basic image here. Uh, it gives you some other controls over here. Uh, there is a sign in up here if you're doing uh, a paid version of this uh, where you want to uh, uh, go in and you can log in and unlock uh, additional features, you know, more uh, uh, design features, things like that. You can adjust your font to uh, their. Uh, the default font is system, which is pretty good, uh, but you can adjust the uh, fonts if you wanted to. You know, that one doesn't read too well on a mobile environment, uh, the editorial uh, font. But if you go back to system, it works pretty well. Um, there's some others over here on the left, uh, other tools um, you can look at. Um, it's got layout, uh, the data. You can just see the basic spreadsheet again uh, with the image, with the, all the information in it. Um, you can see it's incomplete. We're still building this out. Um, so you're kind of seeing a work in progress here. Um, and that's what it looks like in the interface and then in the final product. Um, well, how do you build one from scratch? When you set up an account in Glide, it goes to this uh, basic default page. Um, and uh, it allows you to either create an app. Um, you can choose a template, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, open up an old app uh, that if you need to make some edits to it. Um, you can also uh, go back into uh, Glide and you can pick uh, from various types of, of templates uh, that are really, really, really cool. Um, if you wanted to pick a different type of theme or something like that, um, uh, you can do so. Uh, but I'm just going to uh, hit from template real quickly just to show you what's available. Um, we're actually going to build ours off of a sheet. But uh, if you open up templates, um, It'll take a minute to load all the templates. You can search them up here as well. Um, it's being a little stubborn today, but it's in there somewhere. There, there they went. Um, they just started to come in. There we go. Um, so they've got these default templates. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, depending on what you need to use them for, um, you know, there's ones for, you know, life hack stuff like, you know, quizzes and things like that, you know, uh, managing your, uh, uh baby's, uh, uh, you know, uh, a schedule, things like that. You know, if you're managing a, a music group or something like that, there's some really, you know, uh, real basic fundamental stuff, device checkouts. Uh, I've used this one before. Some of these they charge for, you know, up to a hundred bucks. They can get pretty pricey. Um, that's why I usually go with the blank template. Um, and uh, just go with that. Um, there's some in here, you know, medical. There is a COVID one in here uh, that you can uh, go to. Um, but, you know, pretty cool little uh, sets of templates in there if you want to work off of one. Um, and it's giving me a little trouble here. Um, I'll just reopen the app. See how easy it is to use? <laughs> I'll re-log back in and then go back to my home page. Things locked up on me a little bit there. Um, so I'm going to create this app from a spreadsheet, not from a template. Um, so open up my Google Sheet. To be honest with you, the templates can get a little messy. Uh, the COVID-19 one actually is pretty cool. I've, I've played around with that a little bit. Um, and you can uh, upload uh, off the web or, you know, uh, download or just uh, install a sheet. Uh, you know, I've got this Google Sheet sitting right here. So I'll select it. And it will drop it in. And it did a pretty good job here of just defaulting to list and putting everything kind of in the format uh, that I wanted in. So, um, you know, uh, title, name. I'm going to go with details. I'm going to put their bio second. Caption, I'm going to make their uh, quote. And then their image. And now I've got it situated. You know, I just kind of had to eyeball it in there. Name goes first, then the bio, then the quote. I could reverse the quote in the bio if I wanted to. 
Uh, it looks a little better having their bio first uh, and then the image last, which goes on the far right. You know, if I change the order of these, this would look much different. It wouldn't look very good. Um, and again, you can go back into your features, make any changes you want there. I can go over here and take a look at my settings, uh, adjust my design, uh, pick my colors. Um, you know, if I wanted to uh, uh, rename it, I can. Um, I usually just name my sheet. Uh, I name this one Sheet 1. Uh, but if you uh, put in the tabs at the bottom, if you name it SPJ Fellows, um, it'll, it'll come in uh, as that title. It'll, it'll pull that in, uh, which is really nice. Um, let's get some general settings up here. Um, yeah, I can uh, name it. Um, I can write a brief description of it. I was a past honorees. So that'll show up in there uh, and so on. And again, a um, lot of different settings you can tinker around with um, and things like that. Once you're uh, done, you can hit share um, and you hit publish app. And it'll give you the opportunity uh, to name it. Um, it'll just pick some random default name, you know, Giddy Lockett 2644.glideapp.io. And I'll name this one SPJ Test 2. Uh, when I have it all done, I'll name it something else. And I can copy my link or I can send it directly to uh, my phone number. Um, you know, don't share this with everybody. And I can hit send. It'll show up on my phone in, in a little text in about th two, three minutes. Uh, it'll show up there and I've got a little link. Um, to my uh, uh, to my app, or I can copy this link and go out and look at it on the live web. I can email it out to people, share it any you know, share it over Twitter, any number of different ways. Uh, and now you've got a nice little Glide app right here. Okay, so that is how you build a basic web app. Uh, it, for a mobile device um, using only a spreadsheet, um, GlideApps.com. So um, all this information, the link to GlideApps will be in our description uh, of the video. Um, and do take some time uh, to look at journalstoolbox.org. Uh, we do have a uh, train, set of training videos of which you're watching one uh, and a newsletter that comes out uh, twice a month. Um, and you can opt in, opt out. It's free. Um, so uh, feel free to take some time to look at that. Uh, and we'll see you next time.